My name is Steven, I'm from Hudson, Massachusetts. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> I'm lonely, single, and desperate. <laughs> I've always been interested in cars since I was a little kid, and uh, I kind of veered off from that path when I picked up skateboarding. Now I've found myself back into cars after for somehow getting really involved with watching the Fast and Furious movies again. Made me almost kind of want to repeat everything in the movies, but all the modified cars just really caught my attention and I wanted to do the same. Right now I'm working on a 1998 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX. I'm also kind of working on another project, which is my 2004 Dodge SRT4. I've owned seven cars, starting from my first one, which was a black 1995 Honda Del Sol. After that, well, I still had it. I bought a 1996 Eclipse RS, still had the Del Sol, bought a 1992 Honda Prelude SI. The SI blew up on me on a road trip to New Jersey with a timing belt snap, so I had to get rid of that because it messed up the motor. My Del Sol then got T-boned, so goodbye to that one too. From there, I started getting involved with now what I have as an addiction with DSMs. DSM stands for Diamond Star Motors. In the 90s, Mitsubishi and Chrysler, basically they, they teamed up and they made a car known as the Plymouth Laser, Eagle Talon, the Mitsubishi Eclipse, but the, they kept the name throughout the 90s. Everyone refers to them as DSM. I picked up a 1997 Eclipse GST. It's a front-wheel drive turbo. Kept that for about a year. Throughout owning that, I picked up, which is now my biggest project, my 1998 Eclipse GSX. I bought the 2004 SRT4 after that. And then I sold the red GST. And now I just purchased another Eclipse, a 1999 Eclipse GS. My most important project to me and why is definitely my 98 GSX. Um, I bought the car two years ago with a spun bearing in hopes to like recover it with putting a uh, JDM motor shipped from Japan into it. For that, I ended up having to sell my red GST that I had for the money to get the motor. Once I got that motor, with a bunch of help from friends, it was the first time I'd ever done a motor swap. Got the motor in, we got it running, Everything seemed like it was going good, and then the clutch started slipping. The clutch was almost like no longer there. And from there, I spent so much money on a new like racing clutch setup, flywheel, bigger turbo, front mount intercooler, and then slapped everything back together. And then 120 miles later after that, which is now this year, it got crank walk, which is what people call notorious on the seven bolt, but they say it doesn't happen anymore. But I experienced that this year where the crankshaft moves side to side when you press in the clutch, makes the car die, the motor's pretty much useless. So I pulled out that motor, now have the better six bolt motor in it with a fully built head, cams, same 16G turbo. 20 miles after I did that motor swap, the car started smoking like no one's business. It can literally cloud out the whole street, cloud out all of downtown where I live. and. It, it was just terrible and ended up being now a blown turbo with only 150 miles on it. Now it, it just sits till next year where hopefully I can try again and get it right. My ultimate goal with this Eclipse, um, I set it two years ago. I wanted to originally do like complete build from the bottom up, everything forged internals, completely built head. I'm already halfway there with the built head, but I, I originally wanted to see a 500 all wheel horsepower car out of what I bought. But now I've upped it and I really, really, my goal is to see 700 all-wheel horsepower out of it, make it strictly a track car, but take it out on the streets when some people need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> my definition of the perfect car scene is just, it's like there's the stance guys and then there's the performance guys. But when they can all get together and have a good time, like uh, my group, for example, Hella Broke, uh, we we range from anywhere. We have, uh, for example, Steve Lenane's truck, which is, it's a pickup truck, and it's like that high off the ground. We range from pickup truck, trucks like that to pe people with cars that they try to go down the track, see what they can get for a time. The perfect car scene to me is just getting all of that together, having everyone hang out, have a good time, no fighting, no arguing, everyone showing respect for everyone's builds that they all put a lot of hard work into.
It's just mutual respect is my idea of a perfect car scene. A quote that I like to live by is, life's too short to drive boring cars. I can't see myself in something that isn't completely obnoxious, makes a lot of noise, and when I find myself behind the wheel, I don't want to be behind something I'm not happy in. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs>